So I think you've uh, hopefully had an, a, a tremendous morning, just as I have, I've had. I think it's been a really, really interesting conference so far. And I've been also really happy that some of the keynotes, or both of the big keynotes, have actually touched on the subjects of, of uh, the speech we're going to have here today, and the discussion we're going to have here today. So um, I'm, I'm from TAT. Uh, Research in Motion acquired us in December last year. And the reason we joined Research in Motion was fairly clear. And that was, it was, there was an interesting proposal from RIM that they said, we're the only company who's about efficiency, saving people's time so that they can spend more time with people they actually know and their friends. And that find, felt like a very interesting proposition in a world where people just spend more and more time with technology and less time with each other. So we felt it was a very interesting, very interesting proposition to be part of. And when I was asked to curate this session, I thought, what, what, what would I talk about? What would be an interesting discussion to have? So I remember that discussion we had in December, saying, hey, that's interesting. How, how are sort of media and technology going to evolve in a sense that we actually spend more or less time with technology uh, or with people? And it's interesting because technology has become both a medium by itself, a social fabric, but also something where it's risking us to sit alone together in front of our TVs or... or or, or phones. And the two speakers I've, I've asked to come here and speak will touch about on this subject from two different directions. So first up, we will have Rahul Sen, who's going to talk about user interfaces uh, and the sort of the history of user interfaces and looking a bit about how user interfaces, graphic user interfaces, should look. Because the history of user interfaces, they've, we've all, always mimicked reality. When we've discussed uh, an email or anything, we've always had a pictogram of a letter. Uh, but there has been a new wave recently, if you looked at, for example, the user interfaces of Microsoft phones, where Microsoft uses a design where they don't sort of depict reality. They use something new. And what Rahul is going to talk about is really if digital interfaces can have a texture, a fabric, a value of its own, or if we have to mimic reality to become understood. And then after that, uh, Juan Milano will talk about social TV, the phenomenon of social TV. You remember when you went to school uh, and you started talking to, to other people in, in your class about uh, the, the movie last night or, or whatever TV series was on, depending on your age. Either it was Dallas or it was something else if, you're, if you were younger. And everybody knew if Bobby had, had done that to Pamela or whatever. Everybody knew. But nowadays you don't. When I talk to my colleagues and say, whoa, this is so great, what happened yesterday in The Wire? People say, I'm not watching The Wire, I'm watching Rome. I say, what? Oh, I watched Rome three years ago. And suddenly we are there again, alone together, sitting alone in front of our experiences. And Juan will talk about their company in Argentina, creating, it's called Comenta TV, who's creating that social fabric around TV and putting us again in front of that same campfire. So two speakers, 